Hey guys, um, I actually went to the movies two weeks ago and it was the weirdest experience I've ever been to. I've seen 4D movies in 2D. So what I mean by that is you've seen me um, have, speed, you've seen me show what a 3D cinema what is. Well, they had the 2D sh movie, but the effects were there. And I was the only one in the theater to see New Mutants or The New Mutants, which is the last X-Men movie to be released by 20th Century Fox pre takeover by Disney. Um, and it's also the first, and I um, would say last, X-Men movie to actually f have no, and I repeat, no X-Men that we are familiar with. So no Logan, no Cyclops, no Storm, no Jean, no nothing. Which, as a fan of the series, minus one movie, it was subtly refreshing to see. And I would assume that this is either taking place during the, I would say, maybe pre or post Logan. Now, why do I say that? It's because of two things we actually know that this is from the this is actually one of the flashbacks that one of the characters experience is actually a snippet taken from logan and if you look very carefully the essex corporation are behind this if you don't remember the essex corporation Look back and watch, I believe it is Days of Future Past, it specifically in the Logan scene. Oh, oh was that? No, was the, I think it was first, it was um, first class. If you look very carefully in the Wolverine um, scene where you actually see Wolverine heads in a box and all that, look very carefully. It's actually the Essex Corporation which is behind the Wolverine experiment. So th with that, then I would say this is either pre or post Logan. Um, when it came to the movie itself, it definitely felt like definitely part of the X-Men world. R well done, but very much with a horror bent very much with a horror bent to it um mainly because of one of the characters and what her abilities was i would clearly say it that was um one of the reasons why i would say this is an x-men movie with a horror bent weirdly enough only two of the actors i had actually seen previously compared to all the other X-Men movies, where I knew a good half a dozen of the cast, only two. Uh, they are Maisie Williams, who's actually sister from GOT, happens to be the prequel Jean Grey. And ironically, if you look at Maisie Williams' powers within the movie, you notice it's actually a wolf. I wonder if Maisie said, I worked with a wolf well, for 3D Wolf for five years. Good grief. And Alice Bazinga? I think it's how you pronounce her surname. She plays their doctor. Now, I know her from The Shack and I Am Legend. Now, if you've seen The Shack, she actually plays um, 
one of the characters in that movie. So, pretty cool. Oh, um, and also, um, the, I would say, main X-Men into this world. Her dad is played by Adam, I think it's Dead or Drea, who I actually know from Suicide Squad and Cowboys and Aliens. Yes, I've seen that movie. I just took my to say that. I have to say, this was well put together for an X-Men movie, but I can see why Fox kept pushing this back a bit. Um, I can see why also why they dumped it in during COVID-19. This movie is definitely not like any of the other X-Men. And I'm, I'm saying this is as someone who has seen majority of them. This is definitely, I would say, more in like, I think, the, I think, zombie X-Men or zombie Avengers sort of style of movie, which is actually a comic book series, very dark, very mysterious. I would probably put that um, in this category, which is definitely different, but I think it was still well put together. Um, I think Disney should have dumped this, possibly on Disney Plus first, then possibly shut it, then put it to movie theaters. The only reason for that is because of this whole COVID um, thing that's happening. It would have had hit a bigger audience. That's all I'm really saying. I think this could have been a great hit for um, Disney Plus. But in saying that, this is still a well, well put together movie. And this is definitely one that when Disney releases this on Blu-ray, I probably will go and buy it. Um, if you think I've seen Dark Phoenix yet, it is on my bucket list, but probably way down the bottom of my bucket list um, to uh, pop into my DVD player or pull, pull it up on Netflix, on um, Disney Plus. Um, have you guys had the chance to see New Mutants yet? Please write down in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe and please hit that little bell icon for when I release a, another movie review. You'll be one of the first to know. And yeah, I've got some other movies that possibly is coming in the, in the part one. So I shall see you very soon. Ciao.